Back at the United Center, BMO Harris Bank pregame live. Our injury report brought to you by Athletic Coach, chosen provider of rehabilitation, fitness, and performance services for the Chicago Bulls. The visitors from Philadelphia are without the services of Tony Roten, Nerlens Noel, and Joel Embiid. Derek Rose, Jimmy Butler, Kirk Heinrich all listed as probable, and they will play tonight. That's great news. Welcome back, everybody. Courtside underneath the East Basket. It's the Bulls pregame show. I'm Steve Cashel, happy to be joined by the Bulls head team physician, Dr. Brian Cole from Midwest Orthopedics at Rush. Dr. Cole, it's good to see you, and it's good to see Derek Rose back in the lineup. Dr. Cole, of course, did all three surgeries on Derek's knees. He's played the last two games. Your quick assessments. Uh, he, he feels well. Uh, he's he's ready to go. He's, uh, he's not complaining of any fatigue, and he, you know, he... Uh, sort of mission accomplished. Good news is when he went out, he uh, was in great shape. And this is one of those injuries where he's up and around even after the injury happens. So the fact that he doesn't have a lot of downtime around the time of the injury speaks to how someone can get back pretty predictably between four and six weeks. And he's been true to form and worked extremely hard. Yeah, Dr. Carl, I wanted to ask you about that. Like, uh, let's say the weekend warrior, the, the non-world-class athlete, he has a piece of his meniscus removed as you did in the last surgery with Derek. How is it different? Would you put four to six weeks on that? You know, you know, Derek, you know, truth be told, Derek's in a system where he gets a lot of attention as tremendous resources. So to get back to an elite level athlete and play the way he needs to play, it can only be accomplished when you have a team around him, which he does. So uh, the, the, uh, Jen and uh, Nick and uh, uh, Jeff Tanaka have all done a wonderful job in getting his strength and conditioning back. And most importantly, he's been completely engaged and done a great job. I think if it was you uh, who had a meniscal tear and you stayed at it and that was your job, you too could be back doing everything. Frankly, you know, most people can't get back being very, very active at two to three weeks even, right? Uh, but this is a whole new level, and the only way you get it done is if you have a team around you and uh, you're committed like he is. With Dr. Brian Cole, Doc, um, do you have to sometimes play psychologists in these situations when you have three knee surgeries and we think it's almost more mental than is physical? You know, Steve, I mean, uh, uh, anyone who has an injury and is impaired, especially if they're otherwise blessed with health, and then there's an event and they have pain and they can't do the things they enjoy doing, especially when it's your trade or your craft, uh, it has to have a psychological impact. And as a physician, we always remain inexorably sensitive to that because that's a, it's a big part of what we do. In fact, I think it's as much or more than about that than it is, hey, this is how you do an operation. That's just a very small part of it. It's to take it in the context of an individual who has an injury. Uh, the psychological aspect and really understanding how people feel and think is, uh, it, it is probably the most important issue. Well, you've done a great job. The organization has. Derek has worked as butt off so to speak so it's great to see Derek yeah. back yeah uh, doc we had other injuries in the last week Kirk Heinrich hyperextended knee and then Jimmy Butler the calf injury everybody healthy everyone's doing well yeah as you say uh, they're probable and they're playing and that's what we're looking for good what's happening at Midwest Orthopedics at Rush these days uh, what kind of injuries are you seeing and I always want to get into some of the youth sports out there sure. if someone's playing basketball and they want to continue on for 12 months or ice hockey soccer are we trying to get them away from thinking about going year round? Yeah, you know, this is so here we are in the spring and there's 2.4 million little leaguers out there, right? So this is the time we start to see some of those overuse injuries as kids are getting start up. But, you know, if a kid uh, whose growth plates are still open, who's, you know, at, at, at this stage of their lives, if they're not getting two months or more off from their sport, that's potentially a problem. So that's really where we're seeing the issues where these kids are playing sports all year round. So. Two months or more, especially for our, 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 our younger kids whose growth plates are still open, especially doing very high stress sports like throwing and pitching. It's really critical that they get involved in other sports and they cross train and they're not just exclusively doing their sports 12 months a year. That's potentially a problem. That's where we're often seeing issues. And finally, uh, congratulations to your group at Midwest Orthopedics at Rush. It's really a team effort. You guys, a lot of, you're covering yeah. the Chicago Fire now. You've got the yep. White Sox, the Paul University, a lot of teams, but you guys seem to get yeah, it done. Yeah, you know, um, as, you, as you point out, this is a team effort. Uh, 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 Dr. Blomgren and Giannis are now taking care of uh, the Chicago Fire. We still have DePaul and the, the Bulls and the White Sox and uh, you can't do it as an individual. I, we all depend on one another, the fact that you're, we're a multi-specialty group. And look, remember, it's not just the players. It's the players, their families. It extends to almost every year of expertise. If we don't have it, Rush has it. So uh, it's really important that we work together, and that's 
we're really blessed with that uh, that that uh, uh, skill and uh, expertise within our group. Thank you so much. You can hear more of Dr. Cole and I discussing sports medicine every Saturday morning on ESPN Radio, 8.30 a.m. Thanks, Doc. Good seeing you again. Great. Great to see you, Steve. All right. Back with more pregame after this on the Bulls Radio Network.